before we start today's video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Allesthetics. Allesthetics is a salon that is a one-stop shop that offers all different type of beauty treatments, such as facials, a Botox, a fillers, micropigmentation, lipo laser. They have cosmetic technology such as Renuvion and so much more. So I myself am getting older. Obviously I'm trying to take care of my skin. I'm trying to take care of my body as best as I possibly can. And I've always had issues with acne. At least I had more issues when I was younger. So I do have scars on my face that I've been wanting to treat and decided to go with a facial at Allesthetics, which I had an amazing experience at Allesthetics. The suggested amount of facials for me is three in a year. And I've already had my first treatment, which I'm showing you through the B-roll. And the first thing we did with my facial is clean my skin and pump some vitamins into my skin to keep it nice and healthy. Once my face is all clean, they went ahead and looked for blackheads or pimples that were on the surface of my skin and got rid of them. And now I'll be honest with you, I don't exactly know every procedure that went into the facial. And what you see now is called PRP treatment, which essentially they draw your blood and separate the plasma from your blood while pouring the plasma so it gets injected into my face. I know it's kind of creepy, but this type of facial is widely used in the cosmetic industry. And once done with the micro needling on my face, they go ahead and use a UV light to dry my face off. And that's pretty much the procedure of having a facial, or at least that was my very first facial. I'm not getting any younger and I'm really trying to take care of my face. I will say though, I have had zero breakouts since I've had the facial. And that was about a month ago or a little longer. And I have my next treatment next week, which I'm very excited about. So if you guys are interested in any of the procedures that they offer, they do have two locations, one in Orlando and one pretty much in Miami. It's actually Doral, Florida, but it's pretty much Miami. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description to their website. I have nothing but good things to say about Allesthetics. Huge thank you to Allesthetics. Thank you guys and back to today's video. Right, Oreo? What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another video. Hope you guys are doing well and healthy out there. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a $100 Culver's challenge. Now, I have had Culver's on one other occasion. That was like a year and a half ago-ish when the Culver's just opened near my house. And I think I did a menu challenge, but it only consisted of burgers. Don't know if that's 100% accurate, but that's what I think. And that video still gets comments today. Actually, I just received a comment on that video and I always receive comments for some reason on that particular video for me trying different stuff. And recently Culver's just came out with a Haas burger, a pretzel Haas burger, and I'm a massive fan of pretzel bread. I love pretzel bread. In a burger, that for me sounds amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and order $100 worth of it. In fact, I'm going in the past to record this segment because I didn't record an intro that particular day. But with all that said, let's go ahead and get our Culver's and uh, go ahead and start this video, which I mean, that doesn't make sense because I've already filmed this video. Okay, this is gonna be a big order. I'm gonna start with the pretzel house, house burger, Culver's bacon deluxe, the mushroom and Swiss, the sourdough melt, the veggie burger, a spicy crispy chicken, chicken tenders, butterfly jumbo shrimp basket, large fries, onion rings, cheese curds, cod sandwich, salted caramel shake. Well, that's enough food for an entire family. Your total comes out to almost $100. Almost. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. You have a great day. Thank you. Here's your seat. Thank you. All right, guys, so we just picked up the Culver's and I'm pretty sure um, we got the entire order. I'm putting my drone away because I got some drone shots. Have to be quick about that because the weather right now um, isn't so promising. It's been raining for the past, I want to say, like month. We haven't had a day of sunshine. And if there's any sunshine, it only lasts for about, I want to say, like an hour or so. Anyways, that's enough rambling. I'll see you guys back. Hey, All right guys, so we have our $100 worth of Culver's. It's not exactly $100, but it's pretty close. So we're just gonna go ahead and round it up to make a better title. Okay. Don't hate me on that. I'm being transparent with you guys, but this is a lot of Culver's. And this is the second time having Culver's. I have a few items that I've never had before, um, such as the shrimp. I don't think I had shrimp the first time I had Culver's. Or the chicken tenders, or the spicy chicken sandwich, or the cod 
fish sandwich. I mean, look at how crazy this looks. That is a big piece of fish inside of a sandwich. And if you watch my last video with the White Castle, I said that the White Castle had a pretty good fish filet inside of the slider. By the looks of this, I think I might really like this. So we have a lot of food and I'm just gonna go ahead and go through it as I'm eating it. But the first thing we wanna start with is gonna be the pretzel Haas burger. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I love me some pretzel bread and this is one of their featured items that they are advertising and we're just gonna dig right into this. By the way, this is a new area in my house and I know I'm really low. I decided to use the couch as a seat, but I think we're gonna have to move this a little forward for the next video or when I do another video in this room because I don't like being so low. I need a little booster seat to help me up. But let's just get right into this and I need to move this and go ahead and dig into this. Mm. It's a double patty burger. And I know you have the option to go with the single patty, but I think they doubled up most of the burgers and I'm not complaining about it. This burger is pretty fire. Mm. Considering it's using pretzel bread and I personally love pretzel bread. Pretzel bread is so amazing. And boy, this thing is super flavorful. I don't know what kind of sauce they put in there, but I can definitely taste the pickled onions. Pickled onions has like a little sour taste to the onions and I do not mind it in this burger. This thing, I, I'm gonna say this is like a solid nine out of 10. That was delicious, very enjoyable. Now this food is still pretty fresh. This is probably the fastest setup that I've done in a very long time. So the onion rings are still warm. Nothing is soggy. The fries, they're not soggy. I need to start setting up quick like this. Food is so much better. Personally, I like the onion rings with the breaded batter, but an onion ring is an onion ring and these are still pretty damn good. I have some sauce, the barbecue sauce and cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce is obviously gonna be for the shrimp. But since I'm onto these onion rings and we did get a large, I will admit I had a few when I was setting up. So I already kind of knew what they tasted like. But boy, I really like these onion rings. I just wanna get up to my shack and get drunk. and we are done with the onion ring. So I do have two sides of fries. This one is a large fry. We're gonna dump it in the onion basket, make some more room. We have a lot of fries. For the fries, I think they just, they're, they're great fries. They just need to be a little salted. They feel a little plain to me. And I know I can use some ketchup. I don't have ketchup right now. I'm completely out. Where do we start with next? cheese curds here. I'm gonna dump these also in the basket here. Now you can see that the basket is even fuller. I won't lie to you, I had a few cheese curds setting this up. Now cheese curds, or at least Culver's cheese curds, are best. Like literally right when you get them, because the cheese just kind of it oozes out of the breading and it's the best, and it's the best time to eat these. So I can tell you these are fantastic little treats or side dishes. It's almost like a mozzarella stick, except in ball form. took out the cheese curds just because if you wait too long, they just get worse and worse. So just wanted to get that out of the way. Now I do have a shake here. This is a salted caramel shake. Salted caramel shake is perfecto. Still thick, it's not melted. That's a great shake. Last time I was at Culver's, I, you can make your own shake, but they have so many options. I just wanted to be simplistic with it. So I just went with what they had on the menu. So let's go with one of the burgers. We have a veggie burger. You guys watched my last video with the sliders at White Castle. I had one of their veggie sliders and I thought the veggie slider was better than the impossible slider. I just thought it had better taste. So let's go ahead and see what Culver's veggie burger is all about. Hmm, 
I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the veggie patty, it's pretty bland. There's not much flavor. I mostly taste the mayonnaise on the bottom. I'm tired of talking. I'm like, I'm eating into a patty, but there's no flavor to it. There's no seasoning. And if there is seasoning, I can't taste it. All right, next we're gonna go with the cod fish sandwich. I think they call this the North Atlantic cod fish sandwich with the jumbo, I mean jumbo piece of fish. That is very generous. And let me know what you guys think about the lighting in here. I think it's a little too dark. I should have both lights set up right here so we can have an even tone, but I need to make room on this side because right now I have things like right there. But just let me know in the comment section if uh, if the lighting is okay. So fish sandwich, let's try this. Actually, we're gonna try a piece of the fish first. That fish is very nice. The outside breading is nice and crispy and the inside is pretty flaky. Oh. Halfway through, half, halfway through, mm, halfway through the cod sandwich. I think it is pretty tasty. However, I feel like there's something missing. Maybe just a tad bit of seasoning it needs. I swear, the fish is excellent. I just need some flavor. Other than that, I think it's a great fish sandwich. All right, so it looks like we're putting in a dent in all the food. If you guys want to know, going to be making a trip to New Orleans, and this is going to be strictly a video content. If you guys have been following me on IG, you guys know that I've been to New Orleans, I was in LA, I was in Texas, I was in Orlando. I was traveling a bunch of places, and out of, I want to say, um, 10, about 17, 18 days, I only filmed two videos, which have already been posted, the White Castle and also the In-N-Out versus Whataburger. Those are the only two videos that I filmed during those travel days. But in August, in the beginning-ish of August, I will be traveling with Ricardo, also known as Corbucci Eats, on YouTube. He has a massive, massive following. I think he's over 2 million already, and he's absolutely killing it in the YouTube game. But him and I are gonna be traveling, doing some restaurant challenges for I think maybe like a week or maybe a little longer than that. I'm not really too sure on the exact dates yet, but we're definitely gonna be in New Orleans. And if you guys follow my IG, I will be posting about it at least the days prior traveling if you guys are interested in wanting to, I guess, watch him and I do a challenge. But onto the food, this is gonna be the spicy chicken sandwich. Now the chicken, um, the chicken looks okay. It's, you know, it's not gonna be like Popeye's or Zaxby's style chicken but who knows, it might be great. As soon as you bite that, you get that kick of spice. Mm. Mm. There's definitely a kick to the spice. I just wanna get up to my shack and get drunk. For the chicken sandwich, it reminds me Burger King spicy chicken sandwich. It has the same level of spice and the same kind of patty. Not their new chicken sandwiches, because their new chicken sandwiches, they beefed up the chicken. But I want to say like their older chicken sandwiches, if you look at it, it's not a massive piece of meat. Actually, it's a very small piece of meat and you have a lot of that outside breading. And it reminds me of Burger King's old spicy chicken sandwiches. You know, I grew up on stuff like this. I personally like these type of chicken sandwiches, but you can't compare it to those monster chicken sandwiches at those restaurants I've already mentioned. Now on to the next, we have two more burgers. This one's gonna be the Bacon Culver's Deluxe Double Patty Bacon Cheese. Oh, and there's pickles. Not today, guys, not today. A bunch of mayonnaise, onions, cheese, and the burgers are their classic butter burgers. I remember the first time I came here, I tripped out on butter burgers, but now that I take a piece of the burger patty, I can taste the butter. This one's a mouthful. The first time I went to Culver's, I couldn't really taste the butter burgers and I was really hyped about that. 
but this time I think maybe my taste senses are heightened or maybe they added a little bit more butter to the patties. I don't know if they add butter to the patties or if they just cook them in butter, but I'm pretty sure if they're buttered patties, they probably put butter inside of it. And I actually really enjoy um, the flavor of the burger patty. And for the last burger, we have the mushroom and Swiss butter burger, and it's double patty. You know what? I don't even know how many calories this entire table of food was worth. Obviously, I'm gonna put it in the title, and I'm also gonna put it on the screen right here. And I'm really clueless of how much this is. I just want to get up to my shack and get drunk. I feel like this is also lacking a bit of flavor. I love mushrooms. I love Swiss and mushrooms. I think they're missing seasoning, some type of seasoning just to kind of spice it up. We have one last, I don't know what this is. It's a burger, it's a melt. It's a sourdough melt. You know, I'm so used to, even though we don't have a Jack in the Box here, like I haven't had Jack in the Box in over a decade. I'm so used to sourdough burgers being circle because of Jack in the Box. But this one is, you know, it's just the regular shaped bread. And this comes with onions, double burger patty. Did I go double burger patty everything? I think I did. And a bunch of cheese. Reminds me kind of, mm, reminds me kind of like a grilled cheese. I'm tired of talking shit. I just want to get up to my shack and get drunk. There is a ton of yard work going on right outside the window. So if you guys can hear that, I apologize. But on to the sourdough melt. This one was pretty damn good. I think this might be my second favorite one. Anything with sauteed onions is a thumbs up in my books. I just love the way sauteed onions taste. It's pretty delicious. And not to mention the sourdough bread. I love eight out of 10. So we're done with all the burgers and sandwiches, and now we have some of these. So we have the shrimp, and we have the chicken tenders, and we have some sauce for these ones. The barbecue sauce is gonna go with the chicken tenders, and the cocktail sauce is gonna go with the shrimp. And we're gonna go with one of these jumbo pieces of shrimp. Look how jumbo this is. You know what? I used to wonder how they did this with their shrimp. Like, why are they so fat? Is this like a fat piece of shrimp? No, it's because they split it. Am I crazy? I'm a little crazy. Mm -hmm. I love me some fried shrimp. The outside is nice and crispy with that cocktail sauce. That's heaven. And when I was little, I used to eat the tail. I used to eat the entire shrimp and people told me to stop doing that because you're pretty much eating the fishes Poo. I'm tired of talking shit. I just want to get up to my shack. And we only have two items left. We have the chicken tenders and the fries. They have some pretty big chicken tenders. This is pretty fat. Actually, it looks like it's missing a piece right here. You know what? I really, really, really like the breading on this chicken tender.
And the last thing we have here are these fries. It doesn't seem like a lot of fries. This setup is so uncomfortable. If I do this again, which I will, I'm gonna use a booster seat. It's just that I feel like I'm doing this. Like, you know how mukbangers, 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 however you say that, they like, they pretty much, I don't know if they're on the floor, or if they're like on their knees or if they're on their ass, but they usually have like the table up to their neck and they're eating like this. That doesn't look comfortable to me. That looks so uncomfortable. And these fries, now they're just cold because I turned on the air. I'm tired of talking shit. I just want to get up to my shack and get drunk. We also can't forget um, the last bit of shake. And that is a wrap at Culver's. So it took me about an hour and six minutes to eat all of this. Yes. It's a long time and that was a tremendous amount of food at least for me it was i hope you guys enjoyed 100 dollars worth of culvers a lot of you guys comment on my culvers video still today i always see comments on there and you guys tell me i should try this and this and this and this so i figured that i would just go back there and um go ahead and order a bunch of stuff because technically i did do the menu challenge but i think i only did the burgers so today was a little different and i think Maybe I spent more money this time. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. $100 worth of covers. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, I, I do, do excuse me for not uploading many videos. Like I said, I was on like a little vacation, taking a little break and everybody needs that once in a while. But that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy it, do me a favor and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. You